Hello, everyone. The 2025 AP Psychology exam has been updated to include a new free response question called the Article Analysis Question, or AAQ. In this section, students are presented with a summarized, peer-reviewed research article and are required to identify research design elements, methodology, variables, and ethical guidelines, and interpret basic statistics used in the source, and explain how well the findings can be generalized and how the article supports or refutes the psychological concept being explored in the study. Students will have 25 minutes, including 10 minutes of reading time, to complete this task. In this video, we'll break down a practice AAQ step-by-step step, so you'll know exactly how to approach it. Here's the practice question we'll be using. As you can see, you'll need to respond to six parts labeled A through F. Let's read the article and then tackle them one at a time. Introduction. Few large-scale long-term studies have been conducted to test whether taking a multivitamin makes a difference in improving memory ability as one ages. In this study, researchers examined whether taking a multivitamin slows cognitive decline in later life. Participants. An earlier study, which was conducted in 2017 and included over 21,000 people, examined the effects of taking a multivitamin on health outcomes. From that study's sample, over 7,000 people received a mailed invitation to participate in this study. Of those who received the invitation, almost 4,000 participants agreed to participate and were accepted. To be accepted, participants had to be over 65 years of age if women and over 60 years of age if men. In addition, they could not participate if they had ever had a stroke, if they had received a cancer diagnosis in the two years before the study, or if they had a history of any other serious illnesses. Participants had to be able to communicate in English and have access to an internet-connected computer. A computer randomly assigned participants to two groups. Participants in group one received a pack of multivitamins each month by mail to take one pill twice a day. Participants in group two received a pack of placebo pills in the same type of packaging as group one and with the same instructions. The sample size of group one was 1,758 people and the sample size of group two was 1,804 people. The demographics of each group are listed in the table. Let's quickly summarize what we just read. Researchers wanted to see if taking a multivitamin could help slow memory and thinking problems as people get older. Female participants had to be over 65 years old and men had to be over 60 years old. They had to be healthy with no history of stroke, cancer, or other major illnesses in the last two years. They also had to be able to speak English fluently and use a computer. Participants were randomly split into two groups. Group one took a multivitamin twice a day. Group two took a placebo, a pill with no active ingredients, twice a day. Method. Once a year for three years, participants were asked to complete an online test to evaluate episodic memory and executive functioning. Instructions on how to access the test materials were emailed to participants, and participants who responded to the email indicated their consent. The participants received a $15 gift card for each annual assessment, regardless of completion. The multivitamin used is widely available in the United States. Side effects of taking the multivitamin include low rates of stomach pain, diarrhea, skin rash, bruising, and an increased rate of gastrointestinal bleeding which are considered normal side effects for those taking a multivitamin in the general population. Two different tasks were used to measure episodic memory and executive functioning in this study. To measure episodic memory, participants completed a recall task in which they were first shown a set of words, presented one at a time for three seconds each. They were then asked to recall the set of words once immediately after the word list was presented and again after 15 minutes had passed. Participants who recalled more words correctly earned higher scores on this test. To measure executive functioning, participants were first shown one set of items and were then shown a second set of items. They were asked to identify whether items in the second set of items were the same as or different from the first set of items they were shown. Participants earned higher scores the more quickly they correctly identified whether the items from the second set of items were the same as or different from those in the original set. Let's quickly summarize what we just read. Each year for three years, participants took online tests to measure their memory and thinking skills. They got a $15 gift card each year for participating. 
The multivitamin tested is a common one in the U.S., and side effects included mild issues like stomach pain or skin rash. Two tasks were used in the study. One was memory recall. The other was thinking skills. The faster and more accurate participants were, the higher their scores. Results and discussion. Compared with participants taking a placebo, participants receiving the multivitamin had significantly greater improvement in the recall task at the end of the first year. Performance on the immediate recall memory task in group one improved from a mean of 7.10 words at baseline to 7.81 words after one year of taking the multivitamin, an improvement mean of 0.71. In group two, which received the placebo pills, performance on the immediate recall memory task improved from a mean of 7.21 words at baseline to 7.65 words after one year, an improvement mean of 0.44. When comparing the multivitamin group with the placebo group, averaged across all three years of intervention, findings suggest that the memory improvement is sustained over time. Here we see a graph showing the mean improvement in memory over three years, with the multivitamin group consistently performing better than the placebo group. Researchers estimate that the effect of the multivitamin intervention improved memory performance in participants in the multivitamin group by the equivalent of 3.1 years of age-related memory change compared to participants in the placebo group. Researchers also found that executive functioning was not significantly impacted by taking a multivitamin. The findings suggest that the greatest benefit to taking a multivitamin is found in immediate memory recall, something especially vulnerable in aging adults. The data shows that the multivitamin group had a greater improvement in immediate recall scores compared to the placebo group. This supports the claim that multivitamins positively impact memory. The biggest benefit was seen in immediate memory recall, which is especially important as people age. They also found that taking the multivitamin did not significantly improve executive functioning. If you want to follow along, please have your answer sheet or a separate piece of paper ready. Going through the process of answering this AAQ is going to help prepare you for the official AP Psychology exam. Let's formulate our answer. Part A asks us to identify the research method used in the study. In this study, the researchers conducted an experiment. We know this because participants were randomly assigned to either the multivitamin or placebo group, a hallmark of experimental research. Always look for random assignment when identifying this method. On your answer sheet, you could write, the research method is an experiment to earn one point. Next, Part B asks us to state the operational definition of executive functioning. An operational definition is a statement describing how a specific concept or variable will be measured and observed in a research study. In this study, the operational definition of executive functioning is how quickly and accurately participants identified whether objects in the second set matched the first set. On your answer sheet, you could write, the operational definition is the scores on the executive functioning test to earn one point. Part C says, describe what the difference in means indicates for the immediate recall task for the multivitamin group as compared to the placebo group. This requires interpreting the provided statistics. Here's the graph from the study. The data shows that the multivitamin group had a greater improvement in immediate recall scores compared to the placebo group. This supports the claim that multivitamins positively impact memory. On your answer sheet, you could write, the means show that the multivitamin group had better recall than the placebo group, to earn one point. For Part D, we need to identify at least one ethical guideline applied in the study. In the methods section, we read that participants indicated their consent by responding to an email. It also mentions that the researchers considered the side effects to be normal. You could mention either informed consent or the consideration of undue harm to earn one point. Part E asks about the generalizability of the findings. The study's findings may not be fully generalizable because most participants were older adults of similar ethnic backgrounds. Always evaluate the sample's diversity when discussing generalizability. I think the best answer would be to say that the study is generalizable to older adults only because that is the group the researchers used. Finally, Part F asks us to explain how the findings support or refute the researchers' hypothesis that taking a multivitamin slows cognitive decline in later life. Part F is worth two points. To get both points, the response must use at least one of the research findings to accurately explain how taking a multivitamin slows cognitive decline later in life. Also, the results of the study must be accurately interpreted. 
You could say that this study shows that older adults can delay some cognitive decline if they take a multivitamin because it seems to improve episodic memory, but not executive functioning. The rubric indicates that you could also get full points for saying that it showed that taking a multivitamin does not totally prevent cognitive decline in old age because executive functioning was not significantly improved by taking one. And there you have it. That's how you can tackle an AAQ step by step. Remember to use specific evidence from the source, write incomplete sentences, and include accurate psychological terminology in your responses. Good luck and thanks for watching. 